What's going on, everybody? Happy Saturday. If it isn't Saturday by the time you're watching this, well, I promise you, you're going to get through the week. It's going to be fantastic. And Saturday is right around the corner. So remember how we had this conversation a little bit ago? I don't know if you all recall. I said, it's OK. Joe Biden is inevitably going to announce. Right. He's going to he's going to be here. It's a fact. We just got to get over it and move on because that's how the establishment moves. But I said it's going to be OK because, listen, people, Joe Biden has this odd propensity to be near the top of every race he's part of. And then he takes his foot, right? Opens his mouth real wide out there. He puts some lubrication on that foot. Put some ketchup, some mayo, some mustard, maybe some Big Mac sauce. And he stuffs his foot in his mouth. So he won't be in the race for very long. Because there's a reason that vice presidents are selected as vice presidents. It's because the president who selects them doesn't deem them as a threat because when they had their chance to be successful in achieving the presidential office, they they drop the ball every single time. Joe Biden is no exception to, exception to that rule. In fact, I would say he is the standard for that rule. Uh, and this clip is another reason why. Take a look. Lobbyists aren't bad people. Special interest groups are not bad people, but guess what? They're corrosive. People who accept the money from them aren't bad people, but it's human nature. You go out, Lynn, and bundle $250,000 for me, all legal, and then you call me after I'm elected and say, Joe, I'd like to come and talk to you about something. <laughs> you didn't buy me, but it's human nature. You helped me. I'm going to say, sure, Lynn, come on in. So, Joe... According to according to this man, uh, special interests, they're not bad people. Lobbyists, they're not bad people representing horrible corporations that are stealing money, basically funneling it to their CEOs, trying to subvert environmental law so they can do more corrupt things for a cheaper rate. Just save a little bit of dollars to give it right back to that same CEO. Uh, they're not really bad people, guys. It's really those damn grassroots fundraisers. I mean, think about it. How good of a person can you really be if you're donating money because you expect health care in return? What, you, you, ex you expect health healthcare doesn't grow on trees? You act like every other Western industrialized country in the world has health care. Come on, guys. Come on. You know better than that. Those damn grassroots supporters demanding. Just, just have the audacity to demand that their environment be kept clean. That Those are the real bad guys, people. Joe understands this. And, you know, it's just human nature, right? If you bundle me $250,000... I'm going to say, come on in, let's sit down and talk. And is it really all that bad if I do exactly what they say? I mean, they did just raise me $250,000. <laughs> Joe, no, 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 Joe, no, 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 Joe. <laughs> What's so funny about Joe Biden, in my humble opinion, is that Joe will say something that is completely ludicrous. I mean, completely and totally ludicrous. And he will say it like it is the most normal thing in the world. He said that when he said that line about not having special interests. He's like, I mean, are, are, are special issues not being bad? He said, special issues are bad. It's like he was waiting for a clap, but nobody clapped. And he couldn't read the room enough to say, maybe I should try to pretend like that was a mistake and correct myself because clearly nobody in this room agrees with me. And he would be correct. Not only do people in the room not agree with you, but Joe, the majority of America doesn't agree with you. How I don't get it at this point, bro. You, 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 you flame out on Medicare for all, despite 70 percent of the you're supposed to be the guy that brings the country together. That's what they're pegging you as. Right. They want you to take some of those, quote unquote, moderate conservatives. From Donald Trump to beat him in the election. And it seems like you're, you're, you're 
with all your stupidity, you're trying to campaign like you're running against Trump already and you're not. You still have to get to the primary. And either way, 70% of the country likes Medicare for all. And most of them are Democrats who you still need to win. In what world, in what world does saying you don't support Medicare for all equate to a win in your mind? Who the hell do you have on your staff telling you to say these things? This man said, I feel like we need to, we have to find some middle ground, people. We have to find some middle ground on, medic, on uh, climate change. Uh, Joe, I got some bad news for you, man. Um, well, mostly, uh, probably more bad news for me than you. Uh, I live in Miami. There is no middle ground. If we try to find the middle ground on climate change, instead of, you know, voting to support Tulsi Gabbard's off act, bro, like I said, I live in Miami. There will be no more ground to be in the middle of if we just do the middle ground. We're just going to take the middle. What the hell is the middle ground, Joe? You tell me. What's the middle ground? Because we're kind of in the middle of the middle ground right now, and it isn't going too well for us. There, when you are taking big money, you're getting that big money from rich people because they expect you to make them some more money that they will then in turn spend on themselves and spend on dumb politicians, greedy politicians and ignorant politicians like yourself to make sure that cycle can continue. You are aware of this joke? I don't like to call anybody inherently bad. I don't like to call anybody inherently evil. But like you're taking money money from industries where they already showed that most of the CEOs and people at the top levels of these industries are bona fide sociopaths. So when they're coming into your office as a president, they're not asking your opinion or telling you to do something that is going to benefit the people that as the president, the quote unquote presiding officer, you are supposed to be representing. They're saying we're paying you this much money so you don't represent them at all. That's the whole reason we gave you the money It's because their voices could potentially outweigh our money if we don't give you enough money to make you forget that their voices are a thing. That's the whole point, Joe. Um, had, I mean, did y'all saw the video? Did it look like, did it look like he was actually like at all concerned with how stupid he sounded? Because what's crazy is like when you, when, when you're obviously when you're giving campaign speeches, like your posture and the way you move your hands and things like that, like it gives you some inclination as to how confident they are in the things that they're saying. Um, what it what it read like to me was that like he knew that what he was saying was stupid, and he kept going. Be, like he was so confident, he's like this crowd is so damn stupid that I know that this is stupid, and I'm gonna keep saying it, and they're gonna believe me. That is what Joe believes in his mind. And then Joe had the nerve to go on to Twitter or at least somebody from his campaign because, we know, damn well, Joe Biden does not know how to use Twitter. Let's be real about it. Right. Let's be real. Joe had the nerve to go on to his campaign on his Twitter and say, after getting called out for talking about middle ground on climate change, talking about how he's just such a champion on climate change. Boy. Stop, Joe. This is why I mean, it isn't surprising to me that he has the 18 superdelegates, supposedly. But. Even that doesn't surprise me, but that's why he doesn't have all the superdelegates, because even the identitarians in the Democratic Party are like, bruh, we want jobs, but we don't even really think you got the ability to win an election to make sure we get jobs. The Democratic Party as a whole doesn't even believe this man has the ability to raise money for them. 
That's what I, that's what I'm reading because he doesn't have the unwavering support of the establishment as many may believe. Granted, of course, he's establishment, so he his negative coverage is usually kept at a minimum. But be, why is the whole field, bro? The whole field, all recognizing, yo. Even if we're not take, even if we want to take special interest money, even some people who are taking it, they at least know to lie about it. They at least know, look, man, I need this money, but the people don't want me taking this money. So I got to figure out a way to take this money, but not let them know that I'm going to be taking the money. Because if I let them know I'm going to take this money, I have zero chance to win this election. Think about it like this. Even Elizabeth Warren understands this because we all know she's about it. People have are now placing Elizabeth Warren in the same conversation for some reason with, with Bernie Sanders and Tulsi Gabbard. Despite the fact that we know she's taken corporate money her entire career. Despite the fact that we know she's betrayed Bernie Sanders and, and the entire progressive movement by endorsing a, uh, Hillary Clinton right before the California Democratic primary election, the, the most important primary election of last election season. We know all this, but why have people start saying, well, I'll accept her as a second choice. I'll accept her as a third choice. I'll accept her as a VP because at least during the Democratic primary, she's recognized shit. I'm not going to take any money, y'all. I'm a progressive. I'm a progressive. Rain your love on me. Like she even recognizes this. And Elizabeth Warren isn't necessarily the brightest bulb in the bunch you know sometimes getting a harvard degree don't mean you got the harvard in intellect you catch my drift not everybody with a harvard degree is dr cornell west okay so the warren would fall into that category and she knows this which makes me think you're paying your consultants way too much you're paying your strategists way too much and your confidence in the stupidity of the american people is wrong. It, it, it's, it, you're wrong. It's, listen, I'm, I understand our education system isn't all of that, okay? But hot damn Bojangles, we still have social media. We not that damn stupid, Joe. I'm getting tired of having to have this conversation with you. Stop wasting our damn time. At least run like you want to win. That's all I'm asking. I would love to know your thoughts on this, people. Like the video, share it, leave a comment below, and remember more than anything else, find your balance. Peace. Thanks for watching that segment of Mikasa Sukasa. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, on Facebook, on Roku TV, and on JustInform.com. Also, you can make sure that you're subscribed to the channel by going to the subscribe button, pressing it, and hitting that notification bell to get all of our notifications. And of course, you can help us reach our goal of 500 patrons on Patreon by supporting the show by donating as little as a dollar. You can click on the link in the description below for that. And remember, more than anything else, Find your balance. Peace.